It's day 11. We're starting our tour in the state of Iowa. Uh, day one of uh, two days we're going to uh, do in, in the state of Iowa. Uh, just to give you some quick facts about agriculture in Iowa. It's July 6, 2015. Uh, Iowa is ranked number one in both corn and soybean production. Uh, we're not even going to talk about wheat. We may have as much as 40,000 acres of wheat that get planted in Iowa. Ranked probably in 37th. Uh, the average size of the farm is 331 acres. Uh, average annual precipitation is 43.35 inches. Uh, Iowa is one of the largest uh, hog and egg production states with 27% of the total hogs being produced in the state of Iowa. In the latest USDA crop conditions report, Iowa was one of those states that uh, conditions held quite nicely. Uh, so for the last three weeks or so, corn good to excellent 83%, very poor to poor at two. Soy is very poor to poor at three, good to excellent at 78%. 96% um, of all the beans were planted as of June 28th. So most of those beans got in the ground. Um, so far I'm not seeing the I'm seeing a little bit, but uh, both the beans and the corn look quite good. Uh, we're standing in front of a more than chest high corn. It looks like it's just about to tassel here probably in the next week. Um, but it looks uh, green and lush. We're traveling west on uh, Highway 18. We've come from the South Dakota border. We're near Sheldon, Iowa. And folks, it's looking good in Iowa. Um, the corn looks really consistent. There's very little variability. The beans look really awesome and great. Uh, I almost got knee high beans here in this field. Uh, again, a lot of consistency, very little wheat pressure. It's early in the tour, crop tour for the state of Iowa, but we'll keep you posted. Uh, but it's looking good in Iowa. We're traveling west on Highway 3. We're near Cherokee, Iowa. Uh, and folks, I'm not seeing many issues in the state of Iowa. I did finally see some shorter looking beans, but the corn is looking uh, pretty amazing. Uh, although still behind last year uh, for this time of the year, but I'm not seeing any weed pressure. I'm not seeing any moisture pressure and I'm not seeing any disease pressure. It's early. We'll keep you posted. It's day 11, uh, day uh, one of the U.S. crop tour in the state of Iowa and we've traveled further north. Uh, we wanted to go into Kasuth and Humboldt counties because they're big production areas up here. This is some of the best ground in Iowa and they can produce some pretty big yields up here but I'm very disappointed <laughs> with what I'm seeing. Um, the state of Iowa had decent rain in May. It wasn't as, as um, uh, it wasn't a lot like some of the eastern states, but they did get uh, probably as much as eight to twelve inches of rain here in the month of June, and it, it's starting to show up. Um, um, I haven't seen a lot of weed pressure, disease pressure, but I'm seeing too much moisture pressure here in these counties. Um, I have not seen a cornfield yet that's tasseled uh, in Iowa. Uh, there probably are some, but so far I haven't seen any. This crop is behind. It's, it's one, at least one, maybe two weeks behind compared to what I saw last year. Um, uh, at this point, I'm really uh, going to estimate that uh, it, it's an average crop. We'll keep you posted but uh, uh, I'm disappointed. Uh, there's some good looking corn but there's too much of the yellow corn, that moisture stress, it's, it's happening both and that we're starting to see that variability, unevenness in the corn crops um, and that moisture seems to also maybe slow down some of that crop de development. Maybe even the, 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 the lack of heat, heat units are showing up. Uh, we're not getting the, the 85, 90 degree days so um, we've got some beans in the background there too as well and uh, they're, they're decent looking, uh, just sprayed. Um, uh, but again, uh, too much yellowness showing up in the fields. It's day 12, it's July 8th, 2015. It's day two of the U.S. crop tour in the state of Iowa. And as we've, we're traveling north on uh, Highway 13 near Manchester, and as we've traveled further north, this area is not looking too bad. A lot of lush green corn and beans. Uh, the corn's uh, about head high. 
uh, probably another week or so, maybe two weeks away from tasseling. Some of the corn is a little shorter than I'd like it to be. Uh, we're seeing still some moisture stress, some yellowing in the corn and the beans as we travel further north, uh, but not looking too bad up here. So we're concluding our uh, U.S. crop tour in the state of Iowa. It's July 8th. It's day two of uh, two days in the state of Iowa. And we're in McGregor, Iowa, just about to cross into the Wisconsin, um, cross the, to Wisconsin. And uh, as we've traveled through Iowa, the uh, left-west quadrant was really good. No issues up there with corn and beans. As we've traveled further nor uh, south into Highway 71 and then back north into Kossuth and Humboldt County, we're are big corn soybean production areas we saw too much moisture like we've been seeing a lot on our crop tour um, as you travel further south and uh, just past Des Moines there's a lot of water and fields lakes um, standing water just like we've seen in many other states along our tour as we've come up back north through Cedar Rapids and here into McGregor the crops look a lot better uh, they've had decent moisture they're getting some heat here the crops look a little bit behind I have not yet seen any tassel corn along the crop uh, tour in Iowa. Some farmers are suggesting there was some, uh, you know, south uh, past Des Moines, but it was a small crop and, and uh, corn was a little short. So um, if I'm going to rank Iowa, unfortunately I can't rank it in any of the top five states. Uh, there's too much issues here. Um, I probably top 10 but uh, nothing really uh, because of that southern part um, Iowa uh, I have to knock Iowa down and unfortunately it's going to be drag on the national corn and soybean yield now there's still some growing uh, left in the season but uh, many are concerned that if he comes with a short uh, root structure both in the corn and beans that could be a problem so uh, crop in Iowa probably there's some good stuff, but there's also too much bad stuff, so I'm going to call it uh, an average crop here in the state of Iowa.